first this new time, breaking news on a school bus crash with at least one person injured. The collision happened on Route 6, Fall River Avenue, shortly before 8 a.m., as you can see here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. You can see from a news shopper the wreckage of the car trapped under the rear of the bus as middle school students were on their way to school this morning. We have live coverage this noon time. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace joins us live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Preparing to tow the school bus, this entire stretch of Route 6 traveling east has been closed for about four hours following this morning's accident. This frightening Monday morning accident involving this school bus is exactly what no parent ever wants to see. Once I saw the school bus, that's when my heart was really in my throat. My daughter, you know, we have children that take the bus. Jay Pedro and his wife were still in the house getting dressed around 745 when a noise got their attention. Just a big explosion. It felt like they sent the cavalry, you know, it was like siren after siren after siren. I got up and I went, went, once I saw my daughter, I gave her a hug. The driver was taken to the hospital. 22 children were on the bus. Some went home, others went to school. None were physically injured. School superintendent Arlene Bosco says they all reacted well. Um, the kids had been practicing the drill in case of an accident. Did quite well. It was very organized. They stayed on the bus until everybody was checked out. Jay believes this busy stretch of Route 6 in Seekonk, where the speed limit is 50 miles per hour, is not a place where children should get on a bus. He says it's dangerous for everyone. Hope that guy's all right.